All right, so we've made the little circles and we've made the individual piece. And now what I want to do is make this vertical column of three and a horizontal column of three. So um, the vertical column, again, we'll go to File, New, Family, and I'll go to English again, and the Generic File Adaptive, and again, change this guy. And so this is going to have um, two points. So we'll do the horizontal one first. I can't remember what I was going to do, but we'll just come in and and um, place two points and make them adaptive. All right. So there we go. And then um, really all we need are what I'm gonna, the way I'm going to do the three um, is I'm going to do a circle and divide that circle and then put the um, that one cylinder family around there. So I'm just going to go to reference circle, make sure it's drawn work plane set and I'll set this vertical one current and pick on there. And then I'll set this vertical one current and you know, I always want to make sure, I don't know if I got this one in there correctly. I was a little haphazard when it gets close to other things, sometimes reference, Draw and set, and make sure you get the point. Whoops, on a circle. Sorry. Uh, make sure you get the point. It makes kind of a big blob instead of another um, snap. So make like if it does that right versus that, you really want it to be on that point. Um, and then I'm going to pick this guy and uh, divide it, and I'll set a parameter on that number just. So I have it, I'll just call it DIV. I probably won't be changing it, so I'm just going to that. And then I'll um, pick this and divide that path and set the parameter, same parameter to that one. So by clicking this little gray, I can associate the parameter that I put on this one to this one. Right? Um, and then, of course, I want to control the radius. So I'm going to have to, like right now it's doing the divided path, so it won't give me a radius. I have to actually tap my control, my tab key to get to the reference line, and then it'll give me the radius. So if the divided path is on top and I pick that, it won't give me it. But if I hover and tap my tab key and then left click, I'll get the listing dimension, and I can create parameter, and we'll name this... Um, radius column, right? And then I'll do the same thing over here. So hovering, tap my tab key, left click, permanent dimension, pick that and go to the pull down and radius column, right? Um, and let's go ahead and change the divisions. I don't really want um, six divisions. I want three. So I'll go to my family types dialog box and change those to three. Um, and then I can go get my cylinder and come in here and make this um, sort of column thing. And when it it will work, right, when I go 1, 2, even though it's horizontal. So I'll go to my cylinder, um, load that into project, which is family 7 now, right? And then I should be able to pick here to here and then just pick that and repeat it. Right, and I'll repeat that, and then if I come in, and of course the um, radius for the column is way too big. Let's try 60 and see what we get. We'll zoom in. All right, still a little big, so maybe 40. I'll make it 30. It's getting there. I mean, we could look at it in the right. Oops, nope, front. Sorry. It's not quite straight, but you can start to see how close you're getting. So maybe 25, right? So, you know, you can get it exact if you want, but I'm just going to leave it like that guy. Right? And so now um, we have this column. So I'll just say file, save. And we'll save this as two point column. OK. 
Okay. Um, and then I'll go ahead and make the, um, horizontal. So new family and English and generic model adaptive. Actually, I'll come back and make this one. I'll stop this and then we'll um, make it so it won't get 